Cisco ASAV, VPN, split and dynamic split tunneling. Quick shout out to my buddies Ben and Sylvan for providing some uh, information around dynamic split tunneling. Thanks guys. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into network client access. We're gonna add a custom attribute type. Give this a name. I'm gonna use dynamic split exclude domains and you have to give it a description. Once you're done that, click OK. And I'm going to apply as we go along here. Now we'll go to any connect custom attribute names and you can see that the type is already filled in. We add a value and we add the domains in question, right? These are the domains that we want to split tunnel. We don't want them to go over the encrypted channel. Now, most are familiar with traditional split tunneling, right? That's IP based, um, that you might use this in combination. I'm gonna do that here today. Next thing we need to do is just assign this to a group policy in, in, uh, that we're using to connect. In this case, I only have one for any connect. Go to custom attributes, select the value. Because I only have one object in each one, they're selected automatically. Click OK, click OK, apply. Well, go back in real quick here because I do want to add split tunneling. And again, I'm just going to show you what it looks like on the end client. Uh, not, nothing real magical here. We're going to only tunnel the network lists below. So we're going to create an object for this. I have one already created called HomeNet. Um, and we're going to add in the internal IPs that um, we want to tunnel. In this case, I only have one that I, I'm concerned with. So we can just select the object here or, or type it out. And select OK. And we can see they're selected here. Apply. Don't forget to save your configs. And then we'll just jump into here, go and connect, username, password, this is Active Directory. The second password here is actually a passcode from Duo. That's in a previous video. Select OK. Looking good, we're connected. Now let's just make sure that we are split tunneling and those we're doing split domain tunneling as well. Perfect, split include. We see the traffic, there's the secured routes. Easy peasy, right? So if you want to optimize your VPN links or your remote access connections, consider split tunneling and dynamic split tunneling, but add security, don't forget.